Well, it is crunch time for a lot of parents and students with the beginning of a new school year coming up. And so here are some recommendations as far as getting back into a good sleep habit. We're getting close to the beginning of school, so if you can try to go to bed maybe an hour early each night, don't wait to the night before school starts to get back into a good um, nighttime habit. Uh, but, but still, starting off the school year, it can be hard, and so napping is not a bad idea. But two big tips for napping. First, don't nap too late. Don't, tr don't take a nap after 5 o'clock in the evening, and don't nap for more than 20 minutes. If you do, it's going to be hard to, sleep, uh, to fall asleep at night. Exercise can help. Avoiding caffeine with the evening meal and afterwards having a wind down time so that you kind of an hour before bedtime you don't do a lot of hard intense studying you're not on the video games or the computer or on texting or, or on the phone make that hour before bedtime a time where you maybe listen to music or read or do something very relaxing and then make the bedroom a quiet comfortable dark place if you can get rid of a lot of clutter and junk that's in the bedroom that can help and then your bed should be where you sleep make that connection when you get in bed your brain knows it's time to fall asleep if you're watching movies, doing your homework, talking on the phone in the bed, eh, confusion. It's hard for your brain to know that it's time to fall asleep. This is the tough one. Try to go to bed the same time each night and wake up the same time in the morning, even on the weekends, maybe an hour later. Going to bed an hour later, waking up an hour um, later, that's okay, but not two or three hours on either side, because if you do that, then your brain's kind of in this perpetual jet lag through the week and you can't catch up. So if on the weekend your, your student is tired, say, hey, still, you need to wake up an hour, hour and a half later, and you can take a nap around three or four o'clock, but don't let them sleep in a whole long time. And finally, if your student is still having problems, you're into the school year and they're still feeling tired, sleepy and they can't sleep and they can't get into a good um, sleep pattern, get in to see your doctor. There could be something else going on that might need some medical attention and, they, and that potentially that your doctor can help with those things. That's a minute for health.